Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. Today I will be touching on a couple of things in the game. So both Nyx and Excalibur Deluxe skins got a PBR treatment in the latest update. And to be honest with you guys, I thought these two should have received their update a long, long time ago, right before some of the newer frames in the game. The updates added physical base rendering to the skins and also gave us the option to color separate portions that we were not able to color before. So they added tints and some metallic features so it doesn't look like a shiny plastic. At least that is one of the things that they hoped and were hoping to reach for. On Excalibur Proto Skin, you can now have the soft texture when you color them and I was able to get some really black shades and even some really really soft white tones on the skin without going crazy and actually having crazy and ridiculous reflections. And you can actually now put some gold tints on it, you can add some rose gold or even turn it into any neon or whatever you want to make them. The only major problem that I will say that I have with this so far is with the helmet and the textures on it. It looks like the textures might still need some work to make it ultimately desirable so I feel like DE should still work on it a little bit more, maybe not now but maybe sometime later when there are no other things to work on. So as far as NYX is concerned, the Nemesis skin is still fairly the same but the PBR system and the PBR change actually made it possible to customize NYX and actually be more versatile with the customization. The only problem that I have with this also so far just as the proto skin for Excalibur will be that I just wish that DE will remove glossy finish from non-metallic parts. I wish DE would just make every non-metallic parts a textured one and give the glossy and the shiny feel to the metallic ones. So far that will be everything for that and I actually love this update. I'm glad DE actually did this considering that we have more updates coming into the game. And now all we just have to do is wait for the Lado skin and also the Sakara skin. So due to the size of the recent updates coming up due to the side of Planes of Adelon, I believe D it will be releasing those updates in multiple segments and multiple missions. As far as they have done this in the past, I think this is one of the things that they are going to do. They've done it with the second dream and they have also done it with the war within. So stay tuned for more updates and more videos on this channel. And if you want to see those and also some of my builds on the Arcasisco and the Prisma Angstrom, go ahead, smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all in the next one.